Warning, this is a hunting video. Stop watching now if you do not like hunting videos or images of animals being killed. You have been warned. <clears throat> Hi guys, this is gonna be my review of the tuned Hammerly 850 Air Magnum. Uh, I should say tuned and converted to high pressure air. You can see it's got about a 0.29 liter tank on it. Um, so first I wanna kinda point out the ways that it's that it differs from a stock Hammerly 850. Uh, of course there's the tank and uh, this is the main thing, it's a regulated tank. So you've got a, uh, on this side here, you've got a foster fill nipple, male, a little cover on that. And then on the top here, you've got a 3000 uh, PSI burst disc. And then on the other side is a 5000 PSI burst disc. So if something goes wrong, that's going to pop out. It's going to leak out all the air pretty fast and pretty harmlessly. And then on the bottom, we've got a uh, uh, pressure gauge. can't tell if my camera's focusing. I think it's still trying to focus on my face. Uh, okay, so uh, the, the deal about this regulated tank is that you can fill it up to 3,000 PSI, and the output is regulated down to 1,100 PSI as if it were running on CO2. So the internals of the gun don't have to be too much different. It's just that it's regulated down to the pressure that it's designed to run at. Uh, and then the safety is all built into the tank and the fittings here. Uh, this was uh, originally bought from uh, the 850store.com uh, online, and I bought it from the, the guy who, uh, who had it commissioned, I guess you would say. And uh, so a guy named Rold tuned this. And uh, what he did, uh, from my understanding, was he tuned the, the trigger and the action to be smoother and then uh, tuned um, yeah, the hammer spring and the um, hammer stroke to work better with the, uh, with the high pressure air instead of CO2. Uh, I think I mentioned the way you fill it bef uh, as before. Just pop that off and hook up your um, uh, quick fill female foster. And then you just pump it up or, uh, or air it up with your uh, tank. Um, okay, and I showed you about the tank construction already. I'll just give you a quick look here. There's the foster fill nipple. It's covered up with a little rubber thing. Pressure gauge. It's got much more range than is needed. Goes from zero up to 6,000 PSI. You get to 6,000, you're going to blow something up. And then uh, part of the stock had to be cut off, of course, to make room for all this stuff. I guess you could leave it on, and then you would have to uh, you would have to fit the tank and then thread this stuff in through the hole in the stock. And then the cap that came with it to cover the CO2 tank originally is, uh, of course, not needed anymore. So it looks a little bit steampunk now. Uh, now this, I think, the reason I decided to finally do this now is that. Uh, Umarex has announced their gauntlet is coming out, and the gauntlet is essentially a, uh, a copy of this um, that's, that's made to look a little bit fancier, you know, it's got stock covers the tank instead of being sawed off here, and, uh, but I question whether it's going to be the same quality, because the, uh, the Hammerly 850 has a Walther barrel, and uh, I don't know what Umarex is going to put on theirs. Okay, so let's get into loading. This is going to be a review of what you would see on a, on a review for the uh, Hammerly 850, but we've got an 8-shot clip. I call it a clip, not a magazine, because it doesn't have any moving parts. It's got an O-ring on the outside. Uh, it's probably not focusing. It's trying to focus on my face. Let me get my face really close. No, I'll spare you. O-ring on the side that, uh, that holds the Diablo pellets by the waist. And uh, there's no indication of when it's done, so you either have to count or, or put a mark on it, like the previous owner did. So uh, pop this up. That's kind of a nice click action. Pull it back, and then we will pull uh, the center locator pin back. And then we put the, the magazine in with the, uh, the little gear teeth facing backwards. And then we put the center locator pin 
I'll try and get that mark about 12 o'clock and then forward, down. You notice when I cocked it, the safety was automatically actuated. I'm trying to get a better shot of this, but there's a little lever in the middle of the safety. So if you're trying to shoot fast, you can just push down with your thumb in one stroke and it'll take it off. It's resettable, you just pull it out. If you're hunting and you want to be quiet, you can push that in and then gently push the safety in so it can be quiet if you need it to. And then the trigger on this is a three stage. The first stage is all fluff and the second stage is a little heavier and then the third stage is a clean break. Um, I'll shoot a couple of shots. I got a, a fly target hanging up down range there at about 14 yards. So uh, you can see what it looks like, you can hear it. It's got a, um, this is the, damn it's gonna keep focusing on my face. This is the, uh, the Umarex uh, air stripper and put a high grade shrink wrap on there which kind of makes an affordable uh, moderator. And it's attached with two set screws here. So I'm shooting this in my basement. Uh, by the way, it gets about 80 shots per fill, which is pretty awesome, at, at about 28 foot-pounds. So I'm just going to take a couple of shots here. Maybe I'll speed this up or something and then show you the target later. Okay guys, shooting done. Uh, so you've seen how to load it, you've heard what it sounds like to shoot it, you hear that patunk, that's my, uh, my rimfire uh, pellet trap. Uh, that's about all there is to it. I, I really highly recommend the gun. Uh, I should recommend a pellet. Uh, it shoots 14.3 JSBs pretty well. Uh, it shoots 15.9s even better. And then when you get up into the heavier stuff, the 18.1s, they don't shoot quite as well, so it prefers uh, JSB 15.9s, uh, probably Air Arms 15.9s, it would shoot just as well, maybe even better. The Air Arms pellets tend to shoot better in my, gun, my guns anyway, so if you're looking for a, an affordable, regulated PCP rifle with a Walther barrel, it's going to be accurate, lots of shots per fill and you're not necessarily concerned about it looking um, really fancy, like you don't mind that the stock is kind of sawed off at the front and the barrel is kind of, you know, it's hanging out there. You got gauges and fill fittings and, uh, and burst discs, just, you know, free to see, but you're willing to save, you're willing to have that to save, you know, for $400 or so, um, then this is a really good choice. And I think it's gonna be, it's gonna turn out to be a better gun than the uh, Omarax Gauntlet. Uh, I might be wrong, I've been wrong before, but it's pretty hard to beat a Walther barrel and a, and a tuned action uh, from a German rifle, you know? So that's the, uh, the Hammerlee 850 Air Magnum converted to HPA by Rold at uh, eight, the 850store.com. And by the way, this is not sponsored. I bought this uh, from a guy who bought it from him. Uh, he has no idea I'm doing this yet. Uh, but uh, now I've got, you know, since I got this, I picked up a, an Air Arms S510, and uh, I, was get, I was planning to get rid of this right away when I got the S510, because the S510 is just as accurate, um, but with its, even with its shrouded barrel, it's not as quiet as this ghetto moderator that's on the end of the, uh, the 850. 
This is a little bit longer, it's not quite as fancy looking, but it's just as accurate, um, almost as powerful, and I don't know, it just has a certain charm about it, you know? Uh, it's not that pretty, but then again, you're not afraid to bang it around, and bang the stock around anyway. And uh, it just shoots really well, and it's a pretty good value. I got it used for, I traded my 177 Marauder for it, so 300, 350. They cost a bit more than that uh, if you haven't built, but uh, there you have it. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, feel free to ask me any questions down below. Uh, if you like the video, please give me a, uh, a thumbs up and uh, consider subscribing. I'll see you next time.